We believe that the time has come from clubs and even more so for those that are owned by their members, such as Football Club Barcelona, to have greater control over their destiny, over their future, over their own sustainability. First of all, I want to make it very clear that Barca position on the matter of a new European League format is not at all intended to go against the Spanish League, nor against the national leagues in general. On the contrary, with an improved European competition and more resources for the clubs, the national leagues will become more balanced and competitive. Permítanme que diga a los clubes europeos que estamos ante el comienzo de un nuevo tiempo en el que podemos trabajar en libertad, desde el diálogo constructivo, sin amenazas, sin actuar contra nada ni contra nadie y con el objetivo de innovar y modernizar el fútbol para seguir alimentando la pasión de los aficionados. Desde hoy, el presente y el futuro del fútbol europeo está por fin en manos de los clubes, de los jugadores y de sus aficionados. Nuestro destino nos pertenece y tenemos ante nosotros una gran responsabilidad. Este día marcará un antes y un después. Es un gran día para la historia del fútbol y para la historia del deporte. So you have to remember that a lot of the most vocal opposition to the whole Super League project has come from Spain, from La Liga and from its outspoken president Javier Tebas. They have said right from the very beginning uh, when the Super League attempted its launch, uh, La Liga and Tebas have said that the whole idea, the concept of the Super League would undermine uh, national leagues, would maybe even be fatal uh, to national leagues. So they were quick to react at his decision from the European Court of Justice today, keen to try as much as possible to portray this not as a win uh, for the Super League and pointing out this wasn't about approving uh, the Super League, this was about UEFA's rules and not even its current rules, the rules before the changes they made in 2022 uh, in response uh, to the whole Super League saga. And Tebas uh, saying that look, we, we, we knew that uh, a so-called Super League could exist outside of the ambit of uh, UEFA and FIFA. Uh, that wasn't the question. We all accepted that this is about compatibility uh, with the UEFA and FIFA ecosystem. So Tebas and La Liga are still very much vociferously opposed to this whole idea and keen to emphasize that whatever uh, the Super League and A22 say, uh, they argue that this kind of proposal inherently uh, would be very, very damaging to the domestic leagues.